Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na number one day for this new month for June 2022. My name is Kapo Daniel, the Deputy Defense Chief of the Ambazonian Governing Council, aka Sense Pass King, on our own countryman. We na welcome to our daily podcast, a program where we bring on a meaningful information for help we navigate this journey, the journey to our independence, the journey to freedom, freedom for Ambazonia. Fellow good people of Ambazonia, we we'll start today with big deep analysis for the breakout of Regina Munde from ADF custody in the heartland of Ambazonian liberated area in the great state of Momo, the land of Mogamo, the Mogamo people. For the past years, the great state of Momo have hosted the mother base of the Ambazonian Defense Forces. Several villages have been completely liberated and fully under the control of static control of the Ambazonian Defense Forces. The Momo State boasts one of the highest offices of the Transitional Authority of the Ambazonian Governing Council. It can boast with the highest number of community schools, second only to the great state of Bui. It is in this middle heart of the land where General Mba Ivo was based that La Republic du Cameroon have removed from the jaws of the ADF one of Ambazonian's biggest collaborator and closest associate to the mad king himself, Bivondo of La Republique du Cameroon. Ambazonians have watched with shock, with anger and bitterness as Mrs. Regina Mundi have walked away, breakthrough from Ambazonian defense forces into her freedom in the hands of the occupation forces been flown away in a helicopter from Ashong to Bamenda, where she was met by the colonial governor himself and all the top military uh, generals and the top administrators of La Republic du Cameroon in the Savannah State. The image of that and her walking away have left behind for Ambazonians a bitter pill to swallow, an anger that can only be expressed in the word of one priest from Kumba who wrote a simple word to me unexpectedly, somebody I did not even know that supports Ambazonian self-defense. He wrote to me, Kapo, I am disappointed. But before we go inside the deep anger and regrets and reflection for the way we the escape and breakthrough of Madame Regina Munde it happened, I would like for first congratulate the Ambazonian Defense Forces for the wonderful job with Enduam and for thank our population for the great state of Mezam for the great collaboration with them work hand in hand with our forces for help identify Mrs. Re- um, Regina Mundi for the time we he come out come attend an occasion population they see for day then see say the police them way they work out here they run lost sense then quickly alert we the population, the help we, then connect, we connect them with our forces for ground. They monitor Mrs. Regina, and if it come out, it won't go towards church. If it go for go visit church, now for the way, then catch it. We want to thank our population for toxin and say we supposed for the work hand in hand. Now, only with the help of our population, we will go fit, arrest all this enabler and stop our citizens them for continue for help the Republic for legitimize this their war against our people and continue occupation of our land. Our team, they will be formidable. They enter the day, they pick it up in a professional manner. They remove it and everything run down. The logistic team and everybody just was so superb. They just work efficiently. Our our training kick in and we want to thank our soldiers then for behaving so professionally, for extracting safely and for taking to the safe location where it will be there. I also want to thank our A team as they call them team a where they will be selected for be the guard or for stay on guard and for for being charge of her custody through this period for over one month they run do a formidable job where a lot of people they know ever know for for be able for, for 
transfer it from one place to another across state lines for some for some cases for for keep it safe and also for keep our soldiers safe it will be a daunting uh, job and i want to particularly thank the vice president of the ambazonian governing council dr julius Ni, for the wonderful job we done um, during this one month we don't hold our republic their big, big stick for one month for the wonderful job we do and for engage the international community for a prison swap during this time would i engage most countries them that i engage we on behalf of mrs Munde and the state of cameroon most international organization they wouldn't be highly reputable they don't in, engage with we for the ambazonian governing council we represent the interests of our country regarding the demand we will make them for madam Munde for be for a prison swap because of that, they don't listen for the plight of our political prisoners and prisoners of war, for the team where they be kidnapped them from Nigeria. They don't get the time for listen for Ambazonia. Make we make the case, say that kidnap with them, kidnap our prisoners them. If it be wrong and it be illegal, we don't get time for give them document where it shows say Nigeria, it don't prove say that that kidnapping it be been an illegal action. We don't also make the case for Mancho BBC, a journalist and a teacher and a father. Would I make the case for Pen Terence? Would I make the case for our papa, Pa Fongara for when a senior citizen where he picking the remain fatherless, a woman that remain wife husbandless for this period the way La Republic that are illegally catch them? Would I bring the plight for our prisoner the way they don't chain them for bed for inside hospital? The one the way they did for Kundengi, they the sick, so one their food they the rotten. The one the way they did for inside Bafusam, we don't bring them all. Some cases the way they did not even for Chang, we don't bring them all. They be all day for the least for 75 of our prisoners of war, we don't bring them in front of the international community. We don't also make them the population, they don't rejuvenate. Because if you take a look for the campaign for the release of our political prisoner, them, if it almost, it almost die for 19, for 2019. If we get not only a glimpse of the Naira 10 team by 2020, it be completely die as any engagement for jointly campaign for our prisoners of war. It be be all very partisan and uh, it be then be a partisan issue for 2021. It be be non-existence. You will just get a glimpse of our political prisoners for this few one month. We would not hold Regina Mundi. We don't elevate them. We don't see independent activists for francophone Cameroon. We don't see independent journalists then talk about them. We don't see for TV, for Equinox, and even for La Republic to Cameroon, they know if we avoid the issue, but then bring about this is a big victory for Ambazonia. This is a victory for our state and a big consolation for our political prisoners. Me then be rest assured, say the Ambazonia Governing Council got their back. For this one month, one of the greatest, I think the greatest achievement we would do um, now for rule back all Cameroon, their manipulation of the international community for over the past one, uh, past five years, the Cameroon government with their French allies and their alliances with journalism and their paid journalism have helped to shape the narrative of the character of the Ambazonian forces. They have been described as kidnappers for ransom who are just there to exploit those who are rich and well off for their own personal benefit they have also through the actions of some individuals in the ambazonian movement that have brought nothing but corruption and scandal in front of our people and in the international community that have defined the ambazonian struggle as such we have reversed within one month this impression the fact that we have refused to negotiate or even consider any financial exchange for the life and freedom of Mrs. Munde have demonstrated that we are not people who are focused or who are driven primarily by money or by bribe. We have also shown the international community that it is true, it is indeed the political objective that is supreme to our quest and our military formation. The Ambazonian Defense Forces have shown the war that their fight is not driven by revenge it is not driven just by anger it is driven for a political objective which is independence for our people and their rights and their plight the ambazonian forces have always been portrayed as a people who are uneducated who act out of impulses and who are barbaric people who care nothing about human life the ambazonian defense forces in demonstrating that our prisoners were well kept 
and that we have the capability of holding prisoners, we have demonstrated that we are a force to be reckoned with. In the words of Madame Regina Munde, she says, when I listen. Uh, as they say in pigeon story, long time short. What I have seen in this month is not what we can talk here. But this country, this region is at war, real war. What I have seen in this month is something we cannot talk, but this country, this region is at war, real war. Madam Munde have testified as the Francophone de Ditokam, Ella Lille. That is the truth, and that is what La Republic du Cameroon have been hiding to the international community and to their own people. They want to portray Ambazonians as incapable, people who are operating in village by village, no coordination, no command and control, not discipline without any code that could not be recognized or treated as people who represent a state. We have demonstrated command and control we have demonstrated articulation and political backing of our military force the international community is right to define the adf as a force would not change the image of the ambazonian forces the need to take pride in what we do because we do it for them we do it for them even though the ambazonian defense forces and the war council Ibidan already made preparation for the execution of Mrs. Munde and instruction then Bidan be given for her to be in, for, to be to be executed even without getting direct clearance the soldiers the proof that our conduct will always choose negotiation over violence and sometimes this violence is dictated by the enemy Mrs. Regina Munde should could have been executed from the first time 13 trucks of La Republic to Cameroon military entered an area where we had told them that if they enter those areas, we will consider it as a rescue attempt. We still, we did not execute her. She was moved at risk to another location, even when that location, when the, when Batibo was attacked, when the first quarter was attacked, she still was not executed for the reason that we had prioritized prisoner swap over execution at the last moment when the soldier the commander said that she has collapsed she had sprained her leg and she could not walk she sat on the ground they allow her to stay on the ground for a considerable period of time and we were scrambling up and down to see if we can get treatment for her in a big risk and they were attacked in that location because of that reason she was extracted from that location to the second location where she was she collapsed and they came under attack in that area within i think two hours if i if i get the timeline wrong i think the dev the war department is going to put out the details but in the location where she was eventually break out of our custody she collapsed for the second time losing conscience at that stage the commander had to call for for our medic so that they could reach their location which was not possible they came under attack attack again and their location was was known at that stage they had to abandon her they had to decide whether to shoot her to execute her or to try to pull her again away from that location even when we had already two people who were wounded according to our commander it boiled down to a choice of executing somebody who was unconscious or abandoning her alive the commander informed our leadership about her situation and only inform us after they have abandoned her after the commander have abandoned the location that the decision was made by the commander to abandon her rather than executing somebody who is unconscious i will always be proud we will always be proud of our soldiers for this decision even though it pains us it also pains them that they had to abandon her without executing justice or delivering justice for our people who have been cheated by people like regina Mundi, who allow themselves to be used by pobia and betray their country to be used as impostors as senators without any mandate to represent our people 
this also is something we are proud of we are angry about it we are proud of it we think about it many times and think we could do something oh we wish we could do something different but we are proud of the conduct of our soldiers and it shows our people that these boys are not barbarians these boys are people who are doing what they do out of the love for our people they respect human life they preserve human sanctity and uh, because of those values we will never regret what happened and we will take full responsibility for their decisions ladies and gentlemen one of the big big win with Angitam as well even within the Cameroonians and the Ambazonians now for define the conduct of Pobia the Cameroon state bidan be informed say Mrs. Munde go be killed if an attempt for rescue it be launched yes the Cameroon military they enter from from a wing from a from Pinyin then broke houses they remove individual them then tie them then keep them then leave soldier them for back then get inside Ashong. The first uh, attack we will get them is start now for inside Ashong. Sesef for country market square. That was when they first launched their first attack. They attack our post we be there for day. They will, in, will engage, we get a, a contact with them for day. When our population, they alert our, our barracks for day. They will be alert. Then no be fit be able for engage. Then we draw from there. The people that enter for day, then broke all store for country market square round up every single body mommy papa picking then tie the hand of her back then put them for front squares they no broke any they no burn any house probably they no be one for alert people with smoke and they no begin shoot gun them like how would you notice how they used to shoot gun them so it looks like a well rehearsed operation at that time our forces then try for engage them for for the junction for for market junction and for chobo we get a, as we engage them, all things break loose. We get a cash point at that particular moment after we engage them for all the five areas that will be under our control for inside uh, Momo. They attack with for, for multiple fronts in area that will be solidly controlled. They will get some attack the way now a decoy. Their main target it will be na a house where it don't once be used for inside a shong by our office for for the transitional authority that house will be at their main target then botch into that house they arrest some individual them them tie them for day then interrogate them then try for take them in and lead them further it shows that their intelligence you know be very very good but we battle it out our soldiers them perform extremely professionally we had our best of our best in their command so they were all there the flanks and out flanks Keep on going on and the leadership we stayed all night to monitor the situation and the elite team team a that uh, was in charge of our custody they performed extremely well at um, at certain points they had to to track carrying her on the back and she, she sprained her leg and a lot of things like that we we all we all think that everybody performed to their maximum level but this operation have shown the international partners and uh, the friends of la republic to cameroon to know that they are gov the president of cameroon have no value for human life if he had any value for human life she, he wouldn't have authorized this operation this directly put uh, mrs regina Mundi's life at risk they could have her killed they could have killed her by themselves it was a death sentence for that operation to have gone gone ahead the only reason she's alive today is that the Ambazonian people by their nature are not savages and the Ambazonian governing council always prioritized political outcome and everything humanly possible was done so that this thing is not just an issue of taking away life but it's an issue of justice it is an issue of equitable an issue of uh, preserving our human dignity and that was demonstrated in the conduct of our forces and uh, we feel the pain we feel the anger the anger and the pain that we all feel that she has walked away and cheated death despite the injustice that have been done to our people through her and in her history we all feel that pain that pain itself and the expression of that pain through the criticism and the harshness have validated 
the verdict that was passed upon her and the sentence that she could have faced. And this, I think, will reinforce the will of the governing council and the Ambazonian War Council in subsequent events or similar subsequent events. Nevertheless, we will not end without talking about the bat. We then see Innocent Chia and Bo Herbert then go out there for Toxie. This one will be a stage event. They even go ahead for Toxie. The arrest for Kadinatumi it will be a staged event by La Republic to Cameroon. These people are so evil. Our people, they need to know by now. Say the lying about forces get consequences. We will see how 29 Ambazonian forces will be buried alive for Insabui as a result, a direct result of people lying from the diaspora without any evidence or without any substantiation simply because they want to bring order down. Who are they helping? They are helping La Republic. So when you see people like Bo Herbert, Innocent Chia, they go out to blackmail the ADF, make up story without any proof. They are responsible for killings on the ground. These people are wicked. Some will even want to define Ambazonian struggle and the conduct of our forces to suit the narrative of the enemy. Maybe because of envy and wickedness and those symptoms that are found within people who are primitive and have been stripped of everything. But for us to be civilized and for us to be to be civil, we need to behave with some dignity, with some courage to, to go beyond our ego and, and our own human nature to be appreciative for good things and good intention. There is no twisting about it. I speak without any corny. When you see your brother doing something good for the common good and you cannot do it definitely because if you can do it, you would have been doing it where you are. Don't see somebody doing something good. Instead of praising him, you wish you can take him and replace him and do the thing. If you could do better, my brother, you will not be where you are. Ambazonia have blessed us with people. People compromise the security and help facilitate the compromise of General Mba Ivor's security for him to be assassinated because of lie, because of jealousy and envy. You take away the chance of our people to get victory. You get their soldiers the best of our best being killed. Because of this, fellow Ambazonians, we congratulate ourselves, we congratulate our country. It has been a very long night. We have lost a battle in her release, but we have preserved our human dignity and our human san sanctity to live and fight again. We have strengthened our resolve. We have sent a message to the international community. We have redefined ourselves and redefined the enemy. Overall, give and take, Ambazonia, comes out big win for our people. Capo Daniel signing off.